Hi everyone, SR School of Motoring. Uh, we're covering another potential route for the future drivers. So we are just leaving from the Slough Test Center, um, heading towards the traffic lights. So from the traffic lights, we'll take, we'll turn right. So make sure follow the road markings. As we can see the two lanes, uh, one goes to the left, one right. So we stay in the right lane. Follow the road markings here. Once light is green, start proceeding slowly. Make sure you say keep a safe gap from the on uh, the keep uh, vehicles in front of us. Uh, do a quick glance to your left. Once you go through the amber light, make sure you keep on going. Do not stop your car, otherwise that can be a serious fall. Uh, going through the, under the bridge, make sure you maintain your speed nice and steady. Ch zebra crossing approaching. Zebra crossing. Check the both side. Um, as we can see a lady approaching, check the right side, seems fine. Keep on going, speed limit is 30 mile around here. Make sure we follow the steady gap or following gap from the cars in the front. 20 mile zone here, check your speed, check the camera. Sorry, check your middle first and uh, speed. Okay, zebra crossing approaching. Right side is nice and wide and clear. Make sure pay well attention to your left as we can see gentlemen approaching. Check the center mirror. Stop the car nicely. Before you move off, check both mirrors. Okay, and yep, yeah, seems fine now. So we're going straight ahead towards Hansler. Uh, it's a fairly new route um, at the traffic light. So we check the center mirror before we stop. Do your progressive braking as we're doing here now. So after the traffic lights, there are two lanes. So this basically has become a dual carriageway. So the dual carriageway you can take, uh, usually you're driving a left-hand lane, but uh, because this is a very short dual carriageway, it's not that long, so we can use the right lane. Because the left lane, usually there are lots of cars parked because of the shops. Uh, it's uh, basically blocker shops around here. Lots of people park the car on the left. So you can use the left lane as well, but you can use the right or left both at the same time. It does not make any difference. Uh, but as soon as we pass this uh, crossing here, we can see the road marking. Basically, it's a forcing the road towards your left. So check center left mirror, it seems fine. So checking the center left mirror is the key here. The speed limit change from uh, 20 to 30. Again, uh, we heading towards the traffic lights. The road become into the dual carriageway. Again, we can see the two roads here. So you can use again either side, left or right. So it's absolutely fine. So if you're using the left lane, as soon as you pass this traffic light, make sure you check your center right mirror before you uh, emerge back to your right. So on this occasion we have to just check the center left mirror in case any motorcyclists or anybody come from the left. Keep going straight ahead. It's a 30 mile road here. Uh, and then the same road again is, is actually uh, separate into the two roads. So we're going to be going straight ahead so we follow the most of the uh, most of the time towards the curb area. So we keep the car mainly towards the curb. As we can see the two lanes here, uh, one goes to the right and one goes straight. Check your center mirror. In case if you go to the right lane, make sure you keep going to the right because the road marking doesn't allow you to come back to the left. Okay, we are approaching uh, to the traffic lights again. So we are gonna be turning right. Pay, make sure pay attention to the road marking. As we can see is a keep clear sign. Make sure you always check, make sure uh, you check before you cross the keep clear sign. Do you have enough space to go through or not? So we are turning right from the traffic lights here. That's the London Road, uh, A4 Bath Road. Make sure you indicate right. Again, this is very important to understand. This road goes straight and right. Uh, so we're checking center right mirror, making sure no cyclists, bikers on your right or left. Okay, and we are turning right with the right indicator. And here we are. We 
we have turned right in the bathroom now we can check the speed limit is 40 mile here uh, the road is again emerging back to your your side so check center right mirror and the road was emerging from the right so we need to check center right mirror that's a very important part here okay uh, this is something new uh, which has never happened before uh, today is Sunday and the time is about midday uh, anyhow uh, there is a bus lane coming up now we can see the bus sign here it says Monday to Friday 7 to 10 a.m. 3 to 7 p.m. make sure you read the bus uh, bus lane so use the bus lane here so we we must use the bus lane as it becomes your normal driving lane uh, you only go to the right for right turning so now we turn left here see the way as soon as you turn left check the speed sign 30 mile here further ahead we can see give way oncoming vehicles we can see the sign on the left okay make sure you look well ahead check your right mirror before you come towards right and then we turn right here towards the marble road at present we can see the cyclists ahead of us so we'd, we would not overtake the cyclist for the right turning so we'll wait patiently behind okay we have turned right here the marble road so we keep proceeding now in order for you to take over to overtake the cyclist check uh, check your center right mirror look well ahead as we can see the car was coming we have checked right nobody's coming okay coming back to your side check center left mirror back to your road so it's a 30 mile road here again but again it's a residential area we need to pay attention to the speed make sure you adopt the safe speed which we usually recommend around about 20 miles per hour uh, parked vehicles both side make sure you keep checking well ahead pay attention well ahead scan early going through this parked vehicle make sure you leave one meter gap from the parked vehicle looking well ahead we can see we are approaching 20 mile zone so what we need to do check the center mirror interior mirror we also calls interior mirror we check slow down come under 20 and enter to the zone we can see a school sign here so be very careful there's a lots of humps here so every time you're slowing down make sure you check your interior mirror what's happening behind okay it is very important to go slower over the humps because they are made for a reason the reason is to go safely so every time you're slowing down we're checking the mirrors and going through over the humps slowly so again parked vehicle we need to check the center right mirror as we're moving slightly towards the right Going slowly over the humps, reduce your speed. Before you're reducing speed, always check your center or interior mirror. Again, another hump, check the center interior mirror, slow down. Okay, at the end of the road, we're gonna be turning right. So it's a closed T-junction. Speed limit changing from 20 to 30, as we can see. Mirror checked, indicator is on. Check both sides. As soon as you turn right, we can see sign. Okay, it's a priority on, uh, we have the on the oncoming we go priority over the vehicle so we check the sign go slowly at the end of the road we're turning left we're back to Octon Court Road position yourself slightly towards the left keep checking on your right make sure it's safe when you joining this road okay so we're back to the Octon Court Road uh, speed we have just seen the 30 mile sign here we can see uh, mini, so we can see a roundabout sign. So roundabout is approaching. At the roundabout, we're going to be turning right, right. Second exit. In order for us to go right, we need to adopt the right lane. As we can see, indicate right before checking. Check your mirrors before you indicate. Check these cars. Okay, roundabout first exit gone. Check center left mirror. Indicator down. Okay, so we are proceeding here. We can see the speed camera. Make sure check your speed further ahead. We can see zebra crossing, pedestrian crossing, so check both sides, scan early. We are turning right here, check center right mirror, indicator right, Corvus Road, we are turning. So we wait here patiently. Okay, looking ahead, all clear, we are turning right. So making sure once you're turning right, nobody is about to cross the road because this is new law. So now we are going through this. Uh, Quavis Road, next road we are turning left, so we check center, left middle, indicate down. Okay, you can see a road work sign here. Okay, we have turned left here now. 
vehicle parked both side again speed limit should be the safe speed around about 20 under 20 would rather suggest so about 20 18 20 22 whatever is suitable according to your abilities but it has to be a safe speed okay oncoming vehicle meeting situation check center mirror before you slow down give away make sure leave enough space from the parked vehicle ahead of, uh, in front of you uh, at the end of the road will be turning left so approximately four to six car length we check center left mirror we have put the indicator down buckland avenue we are turning left so it's again close to junction we slow really down check both sides especially on your right and we proceed forward now we're going back to again we're going to be joining Upton Court Road again so approximately four to six car lengths mirror right check center right we indicate right as we are turning right Upton Court Road we're approaching again it's a close to junction and we're going from minor to major so make sure you pay well attention as the cars come slightly faster as it's a 30 mile road here so check both sides we proceed forward Upton Court Road we are on now Okay, we can see signs, cyclist, uh, traffic lights, and cyclists. So we check both sides before we going further. Okay, make sure that we pay attention. The cyclists are always around here. Uh, school sign here again. So be active, be attentive. When you, once you see the school signs, all the uh, triangular signs basically inform us there's some sort of hazard or information around here. Now we we approaching a red car roundabout. So red car roundabout will be taking the third exit towards shoppers or shop mobility, which is very nice. It's over three, over twelve o'clock, so we'll be using the right lane to go right. So check center right mirror, pass this road on your right. Check center right again, indicator right. Stay in the right lane, looking well ahead on your right. Seems absolutely fine. So we go into this lane with the right road marking. First exit gone. Keep driving. As we're approaching the second exit, check center right, left mirror, and indicator down. And here we go towards shop mobility, St. Lawrence Way. So we're going here. This is a very crucial road, as we can see the parked vehicle on your left. Please scan well ahead because you're going to meet lots of uh, cars. As we can see, one approaching well ahead. So we already uh, plan to stop early, so we can just give them away. So before we move from here, check center right mirror, no cyclist, no motorcyclist on the right, nobody's about to overtake. So always check your mirrors when you're moving off. Now we're approaching a mini roundabout, so we're going to be turning right, second exit. This is called D Grove. Check center right mirror, we're in the right lane. Okay, first exit gone, we can indicate left and here we are onto the, towards the Slough High Street. We can see oncoming vehicles, the parked vehicles here. We should slow really down. Check your mirror before you're slowing down. And again, lots of meeting situation. Uh, this can be slightly tricky here because the roads are very narrow. So make sure you go slowly, keep scanning, uh, have an eye contact with other road users so you can proceed accordingly. As we can see, the car is coming. We check the center mirror before we stop. Another coming. So people are keep pushing here so make sure make sure take your time be patient keep checking the traffic if you need to proceed because you're holding the traffic behind proceed very slowly because you have a very less space on your left or right zebra crossing making sure we check both sides at the zebra crossing as it's a high street people comes across very quickly again busy road here parked vehicle both side try not to push your car try not to accelerate too high go nice and gentle again we can meet lots of cars here as we can see lots of meeting situation here we're going straight ahead parked vehicle always leave a one meter gap if you do not have a one meter gap slow yourself reduce your speed really down it's a one-way road here as we can see Okay, red traffic light, guys, is not for us. It is for the pedestrian crossing to cross. Yes, give way line, we check very well. Look over your right shoulder, well behind. Okay, seems fine, so we can slow really, gentle slow down and proceed. There's a give way there, make sure you check 
over your shoulder to ensure that everything is okay. We're approaching Sainsbury roundabout. We have already uh, uploaded a video for the third exit. We are turning right third exit. Light is green. We check the center right mirror. We go right inside this road A4E. We need to follow. As we can see the A4 sign, so we need to start from the inner lane. As soon as we pass the first exit, we leave the inner lane and ultimately become into the middle lane. Check center left mirror and second exit gone and try to be towards the very left if it's safe to do so. And here we are. Another important part as you use stationary here, traffic light is red, pay attention. We can see information regarding the bus lane. So if you if we are using the bus lane, making sure you check your time. It is allowed after 10 a.m. and before 3 p.m. we can use the bus lane. In fact, uh, bus lane become a normal driving lane after 10 a.m. till the 3 p.m. So we must use that. So now at present we are going to be going into the bus lane. We check the right mirror. Now make sure you check your right mirror again because there's an entrance here for the Sainsbury. So make sure you check the right mirror, nobody is coming from the right side. Now we're passing this bus stop here. Uh, this bus lane emerged back to a normal lane. So this is very, very important that we check the right mirror because we're using the bus lane. So if we're using this right lane, then check center left mirror. So we're using the bus lane, check the center right mirror, making sure no one is actually emerging from behind. So now we can see lots and lots of park car here because of the traffic lights. Make sure try not to rush uh, due to the parked car or due to the cars on your right. Anybody can change their mind at the very last second and switch the lane as people can be slightly uh, in a rush sometime. So make sure when they're long queue, either your right or left, try not to rush. Always be careful as people can, at the very last second, people can change their mind. So we have the traffic lights, be active at the traffic lights when you are ahead. As the light is green, so we can turn left here. So we're back to Langley Road and it's a 30 mile information. We can see 30 mile road here. So we keep going. Cyclist there, gentle, check your center mirror to slow down. Guys, it's a very important, so when you're slowing down, all of you check your center mirror. Okay, it's a 30 mile road, we can see people on the footpath, so be gentle with your speed, check center mirror and keep going now. It's a 30 mile road, there's nobody ahead of us, there's no need for us to going. Some people, sometimes people go very slow and sometimes people go over the limit, so it's a both are not correct. If you're going too slow, there's always danger of somebody overtaking you from behind and they can have a head on collision, so therefore adopt a suitable speed if it's safe to do so. At present, road is absolutely fine, and we're driving exactly on the 30 mile. There's no need. There's no need to be thinking of any slowing down. Okay, 20, 30 mile, 29, 30 is absolutely perfectly uh, drivable at this on this occasion here. So it's a bend. Check the center mirror. Reduce gentle speed for the control, as we can see. Okay, people are walking. People are crossing the road. So be gentle. Always check your center mirror before we slow down. Okay, we keep driving ahead. Okay, we can see emergency vehicle. Okay. Okay, we need to slow down. We can just check the mirror, the indicator left. We can slow down here, let them go. Okay, in case of emergency vehicle, always, always, uh, examiner always help you when there's emergency come across, when emergency vehicle coming up. So make sure you uh, obey your examiner or your instructor when there's emergency vehicle comes parked car on your left check center right mirror as we need to swerve slightly to the right okay good so now we can we can it's a third still 30 mile zone here uh, road is absolutely clear so there's no need for us to go slow guys remember if you are driving slowly make sure there must be a valid reason for you to drive slowly uh, although it's a residential area, but it se seems fine to drive at appropriate speed because at present there's no parked cars. When there's a lot of parked cars on both sides or either side, then probably have some reason to uh, drive gently slower. Uh, we, keep, we carry on driving, we can see probably about four or five cars ahead of us, there's a bus going on. So always plan well ahead 
when the bus is stopping make sure you always leave around about three four cars length gap because that will help you to overtake the bus if the bus is stationary please try not to go very close to the bus when the bus is actually uh, the bus stop is actually on the road because then you are restricting your view <coughs> So the bus is still indicating left so in case if the bus is actually stationary and indicating left and you the you the only one behind the bus you can overtake the bus as long as the bus is still indicating left but as soon as the bus start indicating right and you're still behind the bus make sure you allow bus to take to allow bus to go ahead further because the bus uh, the bus stop is in the road there's no need for us to overtake the bus if the bus is indicating right uh, zebra crossing we checked all good the next roundabout we're going straight ahead we check the right all seems fine okay center left mirror indicate left if you can it's a 20 mile zone we've seen the speed sign here uh, 20 mile zone means it's a sensitive area try not to exceed your speed make sure you vigilant uh, about your speed so traffic lights we're turning left check the center left mirror we can indicate left if you wants to otherwise this lane is going to left going left anyway so it's okay now we are behind the bus so as as we know bus is ahead of us there must be a bus stop somewhere around here or there could be a bus stop further ahead so be very careful always leave a sufficient space or gap as we can see the bus is stopping there we check the center right mirror we are about three cars from behind everything seems fine bus is indicating left okay we come back to the left lane this road is emerging anyway so we check center left mirror uh, zebra crossing we're checking right this gentleman is walking we're not sure okay it seems fine we are captain we keep on going so it's a 20 mile zone again we are coming to the 30 mile zone now so the end of 20 mile zone try not to exceed the limit as soon as you cross the sign then go over the 20 mile zone that's a common mistake uh, what happens usually when we see a different speed sign we're trying to increase the speed so make sure okay we are approaching zebra crossing we're checking both sides all seems fine we keep on going after the bridge we are turning left so we indicate left checking center left mirror and we are turning left here this traffic lights is for only people to go straight or right for going left pay attention to the giveaway sign check over the shoulder check right nobody's there we keep on going there we go sir we there we go guys we have actually just uh, recorded this route so we're going to be uploading it soon thank you very much for watching sr school of motoring i hope this will help for the future drivers